hello and welcome to the red flags to avoid when investing in real estate webinars so i know that's a mouthful but trust me i have to put all these words so you can understand what exactly we want to achieve in this webinar now when you are driving and you see the red lights what does it tell you stop right now when you don't stop what happens it can be catastrophic and it's the same thing that we'll be learning in this webinar what are the things to look out for that tells you you're about to get scammed you're about to lose your money when you are buying real estate investing in real estate whether a house or a land in nigeria welcome 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 let me introduce myself before we get started i'm tosio motosho i'm a real estate and business lawyer of over 15 years experience and i've authored three books and i created a real estate masterclass the first of its type in nigeria i'm the founder and lead counsel at caris legal practice we are based in lagos nigeria a real estate and business law firm and i've been featured on channels tv i'm a legal content creator and our, our office our law firm has served over a hundred um clients over 80 clients is actually a hundred now with a 4.9 google rating carries legal practice so feel free to google that but not right away because we are here to learn in this webinar and i live in lagos with my husband and my two children so why is this webinar important just like i said red light tells you wait and when you refuse to wait an accident could happen it could even be worse than that we don't want that to happen so what should you look out for when you are buying real estate what's the six-step framework which i have used for my clients over and over again that worked to buy scam free real estate in nigeria this is what we will be learning and this is how to get the best of this webinar i need you to grab a pen and a paper or if you be jotting on a digital notepad or something get that ready because there are a lot of things you'll be learning in this class and when there are many details you really don't want to bug your pretty head remembering everything so that's why it's helpful to just and eliminate all distractions so close the other tabs on your phone or if you're watching on your laptop close all the other tabs give your time and energy to this webinar so that it can be beneficial to you you work so hard for your money and you deserve to put the put your money in safe real estate investment fantastic fantastic so let's get started what should what's the red flag number one red flag that you should avoid that when you see it know that you are about to lose your money when the seller it's not giving you the necessary information you need now when you are buying real estate the peculiar thing about real estate is it has many angles so for instance when you go to physically inspect a house or a land that you want to buy just by looking at it you're not going to get all the details you need you will need to ask the seller questions the right questions who owns this property how did the person get ownership do you have any documents you look around the house maybe you're buying a house that you look at the plumbing the electric house you know you want to buy a land you look at the topography of the area all right now you would have to ask many questions and when a seller is not willing to give you the answers then that's a huge red flag there and let me quickly give you um an example about uh, I, I think it should be about five years ago i had a client who said i want to buy a property and i want you to do due diligence on the property so due diligence is asking the necessary questions and doing verification on the property and so i said okay fine give me the phone number of the seller and let me put a call through to him and then i called the seller the person wants to sell and i asked him one two questions and he can't give me answers and then later he goes ahead to tell my client and says the lawyer that called me she knows too much but of course i'm a property lawyer i should know my job but of course when i asked the questions and he could not give us the answers i knew that if my client went ahead he was just going to lose his money because apparently the seller did not even own the property he doesn't know the owner very weird right those are the things we see so when a seller is not giving you the necessary information and not answering the questions trust me that's a huge red flag you want to ensure that those questions are answered another one and this brings to note another experience i had um with the clients you cannot physically assess a property all right trust me trust me that's a huge red flag you have to be able to see what you want to buy okay even if for instance maybe you're buying from a company and um the land is just being cleared you should still be able it should be something that you can see you see what you want to pay for isn't it there's an adage um 
um in my local language about taking your eyes to the market meaning when you go to the market to buy something you shine your eyes you open your eyes you look very very well you know real estate is fixed unlike every other other thing that you buy if for instance i want to change my ac um in this office i will simply maybe go to the store or order online look at the type of ac the one i want and then order they bring it to me but real estate you can't carry it it's going to be at that location so you have to see what you want to buy you it must be accessible even if it's swampy you are buying if you are buying swampy um land you have to be able to access it what you are buying you have to be able to access it so assess it so that's very very important now the third red flag is when the seller says trust me without backing it up with evidence yes i totally understand when we want to sell i mean i'm a an entrepreneur i, I run a law firm and i read a lot of books and part of the books i read are sales and marketing marketing books um and of course you want to sell to someone you have to convince them right fantastic with real estate it's not just about saying oh trust me this is a good deal no the trust must be backed up with evidence so if someone is saying trust me this is a good deal this property is safe for you to buy this land is not uh, under government acquisition there are no legal issues they have to back it up they have to back it up with the right information the right evidence i'm a lawyer and i deal with facts proven by evidence i don't deal with emotions so if someone comes to me and say oh this person wants to sell this land to me and in fact he has sworn on his dead yeah, great grandfather's grave <laughs> that it's safe i say okay fine um it's okay to swear but okay so he has to answer these and these questions and then i have a long list of questions that i usually ask uh, my clients um that my client i and my client would ask the seller when he or she wants to buy a, a property so you have to give those information how did you get if you, if you want to buy a property for me from instance how did i get ownership did i buy it was it a gift did i hear it it's how exactly i have to be able to tell you because anything that if there's any legal issue with my own ownership and you buy from me you would automatically inherit it so it it, it flows from the head down all right so get all the information you need then after that you can then trust you can then trust this letter oh this is a good buy okay fantastic i hope you are learning because we still have a lot more to learn now the fourth red flag when a seller cannot satisfactorily explain how he or she became the owner of that property very important because I can't give you what I don't have. So if I take my husband's phone, for instance, and I give it to you, it is in your best interest not to collect it. Because in the first place, the phone is not mine. I cannot be gifting what is not mine. I can't sell what is not mine. It's the same thing with real estate. So when you're buying property, um, you have to be sure how the person who is selling to you became the owner. All right so there are many ways you could buy property you can inherit it could be gifted to you there are many documents when it comes to properties all right sometimes there are even no documents it's just oral evidence maybe under native law and customs but you have to establish which of these various ways apply okay so that you can know what exactly you are getting into and if it is safe for you to go ahead all right so very important that you be sure of how the person selling to you becomes the owner of the property and this is another another um red flag that i've noticed and which is um can be quite common so when the seller puts you under pressure to buy the property but is nonchalant about you verifying the property first real estate is fixed it is not a car that you buy and once you buy it you carry it along to your house i mean if anyone is going to come and collect it from you they have to come to your house or wherever you are right but the reason why we have a lot of scams in real estate is because it is fixed so someone can come there in the morning and leave and that person comes in the evening and say i'm the owner so which is why verifying the ownership is important it's not just about saying i'm the owner no it's about okay we have to verify so how do you become the owner so what do you have to prove all right because i will inherit whatever legal issues you have so it's very important that you shouldn't just be put under pressure okay to buy a property you should be given the necessary information smart realtors smart real estate companies know 
that they should provide you with the information you need to help you make a decision in standard practice. And this reminds me of a very funny story of a client of mine from Diaspora who had found um, a property he wanted to buy. And so he linked me up with the realtor who wanted to sell. And so I asked her, um, okay, hello, madam, how my client wants to buy this property located at so-and-so place. So can you tell us how you, how, this, how you got ownership of the property? And she says, oh, um, it's one family, they have an excision, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, fine. If there's an excision, there should be, an excision is usually put in a gazette. So I said, please send us the details of the gazette and let's verify that this land actually has um, the excision as you stated. And as I am recording this video for you, almost two years after, I have not gotten the information. She just completely ghosted me. So I am guessing that there was nothing. There was probably nothing at all. There was probably nothing at all. It, it, it can be scary, but that's it. So, but definitely, thankfully, not all sellers are like that. So, and of course, if you follow the steps and as I'll teach you going forward in this webinar, you would be safe. All right. So it's very important that you put that into consideration. Now, when the price is lower, so the properties in an area, they go that the certain types of properties in an area go for a certain price range. And then you find one that just appears to be cheap, like it's just cheap no 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 no. it can't just be cheap now <laughs> it can't just be cheap so you have to find out what exactly is happening why is it cheaper all right it could be acquired maybe um that part of the land of that area maybe the land is acquired that's why it's cheaper so they just want to dispose of it okay so it's very important you might be buying maybe the land the property is on um, subject of a court case or could even be worse all right and um Tosin, if you're wondering Tosin, so how do you do i know the price range of properties in that area and um whether this one is considerably cheap trust me the internet has made things so easy like you if for instance you want to buy um, a plot of land in lekki phase one all you just need to do is just go to google and type in how much is a plot of land in lekki phase one you would see it there all right so it would help you put things in proper perspective so that you don't go buy a bad deal because it sounds like it's cheaper okay yeah that's that's very very important now this is another one this is another one now when you want to buy property you would work with professionals and i have um something that i usually say and though it sounds funny but it's true real estate is like jollof rice so as a real estate lawyer, I handle the legal aspect of real estate, okay? The, the ownership, the title, legal advice, documentation, evidence, and so on. There are many other professionals that you will need when you're buying real estate. I will still tell you how you can get to know all these professionals. Now, when you are going into a type of transaction where you want to buy property, you should have your own professionals too. You shouldn't just rely on the seller's professionals. For instance, the seller um, has their own survey or they do a survey for you. You should also have your own um, survey or to work with you. And what's the reason for this? What's the reason for this? Because in every transaction, all right, each party has a professional to represent their own interest. And so if I am in a transaction as a lawyer, for instance, and I'm representing the seller, I would be fully, fully, everything I'm going to be doing is going to be in the interest of the seller. Now, if you now tell me to um, protect the interest of the seller at the same time with the buyer, it's not going to work. It's not going to be equal. I won't protect their interest equally. So, uh, there's some, I would tilt to one, um, from, to one side. I would favor one side more than another side so if i'm for the seller primarily my interest will tilt more to the seller than the buyer i don't know if you get my point so you have you did your own professional in the transaction to be able to protect your interest and give you their own biased advice and their services very very important okay wow we have covered a lot of grounds and we still have a lot to cover let me know in the comment section below how this webinar is going so what's the eight red flag to watch out for when there's a court case on the property mm. but you tell me oh, but tossing I'm, i want to buy for my family and they told me that they are very sure they will win the case now this is it i have been a litigation lawyer for the most part of my legal practice as a lawyer and when i'm a litigation lawyer i go to court on the average 
um, for the first seven years of my practice, I was going to court on the average three times a week in real estate cases. So a case can go either ways. You can, the party could win. They won't sell to you. They can win. They can lose. Why do you want to risk it? Except, of course, maybe there's something else that I don't know about, okay? But it's, it's, if there's a court case on the property, it might just be advisable to hold on and um, be sure of the judgment of the court, okay? And how do you know that there's a court case on the property? So usually, there's a court case on the property. The court would have ordered that um, it should be put on the property, especially where is, there's a, bu- a building on it that they can write something on. So you will see the sign on the building. But if it is land, that might be difficult um, to know if there's a court case on it or not. All right. I have a master class where I talk about getting information um, in this kind of situations. I will still tell you about that um, as we go ahead with this webinar. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, this is another one, the last one. And this is so I just had to add this because... It's something I've seen play out. So you're buying from a seller, but they have a lot of bad reviews. People have people have a lot of bad things to say about them. They've not delivered on their project. Maybe they are selling houses that are inferior, you know. So it's always helpful to check and ask around. Okay. And of course, I also have to say that sometimes the re- bad reviews they might be concocted, they might be real. But just check. Okay. Don't just um wave them, dismiss them with a wave of hands. You want to be sure that okay, this person I want to buy from that is an individual, a company, especially if it's a company, do they deliver? Okay. It's it's very, very important. Now we know the red flags to avoid and what to do exactly. And now I'll be going ahead. To share with you my tested and trusted framework, it's in six steps to help you buy your property. Okay, all right. So if you're excited, let's get started already. What is the very first thing that you do when you want to buy um, real estate in Nigeria? And real estate covers both house, uh, land, and everything in between. So the first thing is to decide. Decide, okay, I want to buy real estate. What type of real estate do I want to buy? I want to buy a plot of land. Do I want to buy a house? In what location? What purpose am I buying from? Do I want to live in the house? Do I want to rent it out? Am I building a warehouse? All right. It's important to ask these questions because they would help you in the next stage where you then go ahead to start searching for the type of property you want. Of course, your budget will also plays an important role. And these are all information you can get just by Googling. So whether you're in the country or outside the country, you want to buy real estate. You can always get all this preliminary information by just doing a simple Google search, all right? So once you have decided the type of property you want to buy, the location and your budget, the next thing is to start searching for the property. And it's a good time to be alive because the internet has made everything so easy. So you can reach out to realtors. If you have realtors in your network, you can check online for realtors or a realtor company. Or sometimes it could be someone in your network who will introduce you to someone who has a property to sell okay so it goes either way i have um, a network of realtors that i work with so oftentimes i have clients who reach out to me and say i want to buy property do you have um properties i tell them okay reach out to these realtors that i work with and they will be able to guide you so your realtor is the person that match makes you with the property that you desire they will take you on the inspection give you all the options available give you some investment advice too all right so fantastic, they are a very I'm integral part of your real estate purchase. Now, after you've done the search, you go ahead and look at the property you've been told. Okay, you go ahead and look at it. Does it fit into what you want, what you desire, your investment goal? If it does, this is the stage where uh, I love this very much. It's called the deal diligence stage. And um, if you are wondering, so say, what's this big grammar deal diligence? Trust me, it's something you do often so if you are a parent or a guardian you know you want when you want to change your children's school when your children started attending school you made inquiries right you wanted to know which place was best for your children would they take care of your children well do they teach them well do they teach them moral values you know everything that you really wanted you wanted a school that had that you were doing due diligence so it's the same thing 
in real estate all right it's doing due diligence is making sure that um, you are not about to lose your money in that real estate that you want to buy okay and um, part of it is going on an inspection and then engaging professionals and so as a lawyer i do help uh, my clients do due diligence by verifying the ownership of the property okay so it's called due diligence to do the searches that are necessary depending on the type of property you are buying giving you the legal advice about the purchase and verify whatever document and if there are no documents to tell you how to go about um getting the necessary information orally okay so that's the due diligence stage and this stage you shouldn't miss it actually every of these six steps are um, well thought out i didn't just um just come up with them one day they are tested and trusted so do make sure that you follow the process and you will do just fine so we are now at the purchase stage so after you have done your due diligence and you've gotten um a positive um report from your lawyer who says okay we have checked everything and everything checks out is safe to go either so i have to also quickly add that during the due diligence stage i usually work alongside the surveyor to do the due diligence all right so after that once it's positive we then go to the stage of buying the property so this is the stage where payment is made where your, your lawyer drafts the deed of assignment and contract of sale showing transferring tie ownership to you and the seller signs all right then you collect the seller's um, document. So if the seller has bought uh, maybe just one single property, you are buying that one single property, they will sign your own deed of assignment that transfers title. And by title, I mean ownership. They will sign it and then they will give you their documents. All right. But if a seller, for instance, bought maybe a large expanse of land and is selling some parts to you, they can't give you their own documents because, of course, they, they are selling the other parts to other people, but they will sign and at this stage your lawyer would um draft those documents yes it's your lawyer who will draft the documents for you and ensure that um, everything checks out okay and uh, and guide you on getting the signature and everything that you need it's very very important one thing you mustn't miss out when you buy property and you make payments is taking possession remember that real estate is fixed if i buy a laptop for instance they'll bring it to my house if i order it online so it has left the store it's left the former owner but real estate will still be there you can't carry it so you have to take possession and what does possession means it's you'll be occupying the property right here we've been in physical control so if it is land what i usually advise my clients to do if it's not something they want to develop immediately you can do a small fence around the house around the land sorry if it's an area that's already developing you have neighbors you want to make friends with your neighbors and let them know i'm the owner of this land here in case you see any face that doesn't look like mine this is my phone number make friends with them if you have to give them a little gift so maybe to their children just to establish a rapport all right you know wisdom is very important you do it if it's a built property it's, it's, it's easier to take possession because you'll be giving the keys all right so you can access the property you can start living in it if it is a house you wanted to start living or maybe you wanted to rent it out short let on all those you can do that and um, i usually say you can even change the key so that just in case the person who sold it to you has an extra copy so you can be sure that as the new owner you are the only one who has access and which is only you can get access to the property or anyone that you give those keys so taking possession is very very key and the sixth step is perfection perfection is perfecting your title so when you have your deed of assignment now saying you are the owner of the property you want to take it of, of a step further by applying for a certificate of occupancy if that property does not have a certificate of occupancy then you apply for it but if there was already a certificate of occupancy on the property what you would apply for would be governor's consent to your deed of assignment and what that means is that the record of your new ownership is registered at the land registry of the state where the property is located and it significantly increases the value of your property with that you can use it as a collateral for um bank facilities all right so that's why 
it's always very important that you can should do it as often as you can you can include it in your plan to perfect your title now that we have seen the red flags to avoid and we have seen the four step, the six steps framework let me know in the comment section what stands out for you so now you have to avoid these common mistakes there are common there are common mistakes that i see people make when they are buying real estate they don't follow these things they just do it anyhow like i've had people reach out to me who have finished payments before they get, they now want to check whether the land they want to do due diligence all right i mean that's totally risky because after you have paid for something if you then find that that maybe the person you bought from is not really the owner or the land is under government acquisition how do you wiggle out it, it can be really it can it can be a, a, a very uninteresting to put it mildly a very uninteresting experience so following the due process it's very important then ignore ignorance about peculiarities of real estate see you, you can't invest in real estate you invest like invest in stocks um crypto what else you buy shares real estate is totally different real estate even has different types for instance you could be buying a house you could be buying land you can be buying from a family you could be buying from a community maybe you are, you want to do an off plan or you want to go the mortgage route all right so there are so many peculiarities about real estate that you've got to know about when you are buying real estate and investing in real estate knowledge is one of the things you must invest in of course you watching this Web, my webinar tells me that you are you are passionate about getting the necessary knowledge you need and trust me by doing that you have shot your risk by half your risk of losing money in real estate you reduced it by half i will still tell you how you can reduce it totally all right now i'm not seeking professional help trust me remember what i said about jollof rice and real estate it works as a lawyer myself I do not handle everything in my real estate transactions by myself. What I can handle is the legal, legal side. So I still engage other professionals in the areas where I need um, their professional help. That's the smart thing to do. Because if I say I want to save money and I don't want to engage professionals, I will lose everything. All right. So what you should do is get enough knowledge about the type of real estate you want to invest in. And I'll still get to that soon. I have a master class that goes step by step into um, investing in different types of real estate and follow the process to the letter. The process we've learned about today, follow it to the letter and it would work for you. So if you want to work with me and my team, you want to buy a property in Lagos, you want us to do due diligence for your property, or you want us to do the documentation, or you want us to manage your property or legal advice or any service relating to real estate, I and my team will be glad to work with you. So like I said earlier, our law firm is Carrie's Legal Practice and we are ranked number one for real estate lawyers in Lagos, all right? So we have served over a hundred clients within our years of being established over um, about four years ago. And we currently have a 4.9 Google rating, all right? And we would be delighted to work with you. So if you would like to work with us, there's a link in the description box below just go ahead and click the link and then you can talk to us and we can see how to work together. Now, remember I said, if you want to know the step-by-step -step to acquiring scam-free real estate, like you're totally clueless, you want to know how to literally be able to sniff scams, then this masterclass is for you. So I have this due diligence in real estate masterclass, the first of its kind in nigeria and i make bold to say that it's been tested and trusted by over a hundred people i mean over a hundred people including lawyers realtors ceo of real estate companies seasoned investors have had the about um, an elderly woman who is in her 60s who took the class and she was like wow wow i've been investing but <laughs> this is totally on another level there are a lot of things that i didn't know about that i now know about in this master class it's a recorded master class and here are a few things you will learn questions to ask 15 very important questions what to do when buying bear land off plan property build property buying from omonilers from communities from families from companies how do you know if land is under government acquisition who are the professionals you need to work with what should you do at the point of buying property 
after buying property what should you do before you make payment like this is it's the real, real deal contains all the information you will need so if you would like to um buy the master class it's recorded so you can just click there's a link in the description box below you can click the link to make payment and start watching right away all right fantastic now if you have questions feel free to type them in the question in the comment section below but if you would rather get some um, on a private um consultation session with me then you can get access to a private consultation session for a fee there's a link below that talks about how to get me on a private consultation session it can be virtual or it can be in our office so thanks to technology we leverage a lot of technology for our businesses so if you want to get legal advice on any um, real estate issue you could just book a consultation session <coughs> and we would be glad to work with you thank you for staying till the end of this webinar i hope this has been helpful let me know um, what you think how this has been helpful to you and what stood out for you in the comment section and do one more thing make sure to subscribe to this channel and check other videos because i have a lot of very helpful detailed videos on this channel you won't even believe they are for free fantastic thank you and do enjoy bye